Have you heard the news? China has announced plans to build an $850 million airport in Antarctica, a move that could give them unprecedented access to the continent's rich reserves of energy and minerals. But what does this mean for the fragile ecosystem of this icy frontier? And what impact will it have on the geopolitical landscape of the region? China has recently unveiled plans to build an airport in Antarctica, which will provide logistical support to future scientific expeditions in the region. The project is estimated to cost $850 million, and will see China join the likes of the US, UK, Russia, and Australia in having its landing strip in the territory. However, as with any new infrastructure in a fragile ecosystem such as Antarctica, there are concerns about its potential environmental impact. In this video, we will go through China's plans to build an airport in Antarctica and its positive or negative impacts on the environment. China's influence in Africa is quite visible. Their ambitions in Antarctica have been relatively low-key. However, it's been pointed out that China is certainly eyeing the rich reserves of energy and minerals at the South Pole, as well as its potential for fishing and shipping. Moreover, Antarctica is a crucial location for security and climate change research, making it an area of great strategic importance. It's not surprising, then, that China has announced plans in November to build its very first airport in Antarctica. According to Kachi Daily, a newspaper operated by China's Ministry of Science and Technology, the airport will play a key role in managing Chinese airspace in Antarctica, while also providing logistical support for scientific expeditions in the region. All in all, this is a clear indication that China is serious about its polar ambitions, and we can expect to see more developments in this area in the coming years. It's fascinating to see China joining the ranks of the US, UK, Russia, and Australia in constructing its airport in Antarctica. Since signing up for the Antarctic Treaty in 1983, China has relied on Russian landing strips or sea travel to reach the continent. However, the construction of an airport in this extreme environment comes with its own set of challenges. The airport's location must be chosen carefully to account for the constantly moving platform of ice, and the construction must take into account the extreme conditions of the region. Building a landing strip in Antarctica requires compacted snow, or white ice, to create enough traction for the polar aircraft, which have ski-equipped landing gear and jet-assisted takeoffs. With the construction of new infrastructure in Antarctica, such an airport can pose real difficulties in adhering to environmental obligations it is crucial to factor in the impact on the region's ecosystems. The Antarctic Treaty has set protocols on environmental protection, but adherence to these protocols has not always been guaranteed. And a large project such as an airport may present real challenges in terms of waste disposal and environmental contamination. As tourism in the region continues to increase, it is important to consider the economic sustainability of the tourist industry and commercial flights in Antarctica. While governmental subsidies may be necessary to support such ventures, the need for environmental protection should not be compromised. Australia has also announced its plans to build a new paved runway near its Davis Research Station, indicating that China is not the only nation vying for influence in Antarctica. It will be interesting to see how these developments shape the future of the region. As we conclude our discussion on China's plans to build an airport in Antarctica, it is important to consider the potential impact of such infrastructure on the fragile ecosystem of the region. While the airport may provide logistical support for scientific expeditions and offer China greater access to the continent's resources, all measures must be taken to minimize any negative environmental impacts.